Welcome to the Nexus. In this video, we are going to discuss the principle of urease test. Right, but first, what is ureus? Ureus is an enzyme that hydrolyzes urea to ammonia and carbon dioxide, which increase the pH and create alkaline environment. Right, this is pH more than 7. Right, so infections with urease positive organisms, uh, especially Proteus mirabilis, uh, will predispose to struvite stones, right, formation of those uh, stones, uh, mainly in uh, the urinary tract, right. Uh, ureas producing bacteria can colonize and survive in the urinary system, as I just said. To remember organisms that produce ureas, you use the mnemonic such punks and these organisms include staphylococcus epidemides, urea plasma, cryptococcus, H. pylori, proteus, nocardia, klebsiella, uh, staphylococcus saprophyticus. Right, so such punks, such punks. Right, so there are two main methods which are used. There is a rapid ureus test or RIUT, which is an invasive test, and urea breath test, which is a very common and non-invasive um, test. Right, so let's start with a rapid ureus test, which is uh, invasive. Right, so uh, this one is very popular in diagnosis of H. pylori, uh, and it is a rapid, cheap, and simple test that detects the presence of ureus in or on the gastric mucosa. Uh, it is also known as uh, the Campylobacter-like organism test, or CLO. And this test uses a procedure called gastric endoscopy and biopsy to collect the uh, lining cells or the mucosal cells. Right? Flexible with a camera and you can see that's endoscopy. But you can also take a biopsy on specific areas, particularly on the antrum in this case, and you test those cells, right? So the biopsy of the mucosa is taken from the antrum of the stomach and is placed onto a medium containing urea and an indicator uh, like phenol red. The ureas are produced by H. pylori who hydrolyze urea to ammonia uh, which raises the pH of the medium and changes the specimen color from yellow, this one is yellow negative, to red which is positive. Number two, We'll talk about a urea breath test, right? So in this case, a patient who ingest radioactively labeled urea, either radioactive carbon uh, isotope 14 or non-radioactive carbon 13, right? So if the infection is present, the urea is produced by the H. pylori who hydrolyze the urea to form ammonia and the labeled bicarbonate that is exhaled as carbon dioxide, right? So we have this carbon dioxide and this one is detected using a scintillation counter, right? So specifically if it is carbon 14 and an isotope uh, ratio mass spectrometer or mass correlation, this one uh, is what is we used if we, we are using uh, carbon 13, right? Mass correlation spectrometry for carbon-13 and scintillation counter for carbon-14. Right, so this uh, test is very common, all right? Uh, so there are some rules uh, and regulations, particularly for patients undergoing uh, this urea breath test. Number one, do not eat or drink anything, including water, for at least four to six hours before the test. Number two, do not smoke for at least two hours prior to the test. Number three, stop taking all antibiotics, including triple therapy for H. pylori, uh, for at least four weeks before the test. Stop taking proton pump inhibitors uh, for at least a week before the test, All right, So these last two, they are very important because we can get like false negatives. Right, false negative. So we need to make sure that four weeks, we, we stop all antibiotics four weeks prior to the test and proton pump inhibitor at least a week before the test. 
Right, so what are the uses of ureas test? This test is used to differentiate organisms based on their ability to hydrolyze urea with the enzyme ureas. This test can be used as part of identification of several genera and species of Enderobacteriaceae, including Proteus, Klebsiella, and some Yacina and uh, Citrobacter species, as well as some uh, Corynebacterium species. It is also useful to identify Cryptococcus species, Brucella, uh, H. pylori, and many other bacteria that produce ureus enzyme. Directly, this test is performed on gastric biopsy samples to detect the presence of H. pylori. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section, and most importantly, subscribe.